Hey, what's up, guys? So we got another mowing footage. This is the uh, Skag V-Ride 2 brand new mower stand on. I figured I had to, uh, well, actually I had no choice but to upgrade to a commercial. As you guys know, I got my entire trailer and uh, equipment inside stolen uh, a couple of months ago. And this was uh, during the, the ice storm, snowstorm we had here in Texas. So I know that everybody in the community was saying, Mark, just upgrade to commercial, get rid of, uh, had a Toro 34. And uh, I mean, it, it did its job. It did what it needed to do. It got definitely made me some money, but it just it was just underpowered. Didn't hold on uh, slopes very well. And uh, of course, it was already. At, it was that time for me to retire. Uh, the zero turn. So, and I've done a lot of. Um, just kind of research on my next commercial mower, or not my next new commercial mower. And I've tried uh, the right standard 32. I've uh, I've actually demoed this one right here at two years ago at the GIE Expo. Well, I don't know if it was the same. But yeah, it was a 32. And uh, I'll put a card up on the right hand corner, and you guys can check that out where I demoed the Skag 32 at the GIE Expo. Of course, I wasn't able to cut grass or mow grass with it, but with um, a lot of my friends that own a Skag, everybody swore that this was a machine that I needed, I needed to purchase. So I think this was probably the third or fourth time that I'm using this machine so of course my lines aren't even going to be straight um, around here we don't we don't stripe either way so the striping capability on this mower I know that it's really great it's awesome I've seen videos uh, even without the mulch or the uh, striping kit but around here we don't we don't stripe we don't need to stripe people don't our customers don't ask us to strike um, this particular yard they do um, fertilize so the grass definitely grows up pretty quick so I was still kind of trying to okay here I actually had a guy uh, fabricate me a uh, shoot blocker which he did awesome um, I think here I was actually um, I picked up the shoot block uh, up that way it'll uh, shoot the uh, grass uh, disperse the grass to the side and it actually shoots it pretty far pretty hard which is uh, just just tells me that the uh, engine is stout you know it's powerful that makes sense so uh, on so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go back over these clumps and just kind of disperse the disperse the grass there. I really don't uh, side shoot. However, in this case, just because the grass was overgrown, I figured you know we yeah, might as well do it. But I can't believe I was actually push mowing this with a 21 inch this season. <laughs> it's just crazy. This this yard did definitely take a long time to push mow. Of course, whenever I had my uh, 34 inch zero turn Toro, I mean it wasn't as bad either. But of course, whenever I got my stuff stolen, I had no choice but to push mow this yard.
and I think uh, I don't know maybe I uh, had getting my equipment stolen um, that had to happen in order for me to purchase a commercial mower because like if I still had my equipment I, I don't think I would have pulled the trigger on on this V-Ride but I'll tell you what I I love this mower I'm not even gonna lie like I said I've tried the right mower buddy of mine let me use it um, he actually let me not use it but uh, no 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 he did he let me use it for a couple of my properties and I demoed it and I'm gonna leave the card on the upper right corner y'all guys can check that out as well but I just it, it had a good good cutting quality the only thing I didn't like was the controls I think it had too many um, I think it had two sets of controls actually so you your hands would always have to be jumping back and forth jet jumping back and forth I want to always be it, I just didn't feel secure you know what I'm saying and it was just just to me it was just awkward Whereas this is just one set of controls, and then you got the uh, the stationary bars in the front and behind, and that's perfect. Y'all guys, let me know um, if you guys own a stand on. Which what stand on do y'all has? You have and what size? Like I mentioned, this one's a 32. And the reason I went with a 32 was the obvious, right? So I could get behind, get through gates, my smaller gates. Come to find out though, the reason uh, I got it was this one particular yard where the yard is big but the gate was small and I still can't get my I still can't get this mower back through there so I'm still push mowing that particular yard with a big big backyard and small gate so I'm gonna see if I can't uh, upsell and gate upgrade but the thing is looks like their gate is brand new so I don't know if they're gonna want to go for that or not so I'm still debating whether to uh, shoot that to the customer or not. Like it might look like I don't have a game plan and that might be true whenever I'm <laughs> mowing this yard because it looks like I'm kind of going everywhere. Um, but I'm still trying to get used to the mower. Like I mentioned, I think I've had this mower maybe a week only. Or less than a week so I'm still trying to get used to the ride get used to the turns the just the controls and things like that but uh, and the layout of the of the yard is is kind of weird too so I can never find the right the perfect mowing pattern for that for the side <clears throat> Not this side, but the uh, other side. I can never find the perfect mowing pattern. But I am pleased and uh, satisfied with this mower for sure. And somebody like me with with herniated disc standing up really saves my back like seriously and that's one of the uh, I guess uh, perks or not perks would you say uh, pros of a stand on mower just any stand on mower that if you have bad back or herniated disc standing up is a whole lot better for your disc than sitting down so I've already had two uh, back surgeries for that issue uh, a few years back and of course it still gives me problems and especially whenever I was on the zero turn and I was sitting down 
my right leg would just flare up in pain and oh man it's just not good but stand, standing up is actually because they say walking is good for your your disc either way so so using a stand on definitely helps cut back on the pain and injury to the disc so if you guys are having any uh, sciatic pain or back pain you guys might want to try a stand on If you guys haven't uh, yet subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button, share button. Help support Eclipse Lawn Care channel. That way it'll tell the uh, YouTube algorithm that you guys like it. And uh, help spread the love. Just like I'm spreading the grass. But this is actually a fun, fun mower, and the th and the thing about it is, um, as I mentioned earlier, this definitely holds the uh, the slopes very well compared to the Toro uh, zero turn I had. Zero turns is they didn't have any power. This one does hold slopes a whole lot better. And if anybody is looking to purchase a stand-on, I definitely recommend to demo, go to your uh, dealership or figure out who the uh, rep for whatever brand mower you're looking for and have them uh, bring you out a demo. So I did, I contacted one of, actually I contacted, contacted Skag and they put me in touch with the rep here in my area and he let me use a 36 V ride for the weekend so I tried it on a couple of yards and I was like yeah this is it this is it this is the mower so here it is V ride 2 by Skag fits uh fits good in my trailer so if i ever wanted to convert my truck into a flatbed this will definitely uh fit in the back of my truck as well so what am i doing here I'm trying to get this backpack blower to go oh i think i was going to blow off the uh Skag. No, I guess not. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.